Hi, my name is Dan Cromer, and I'm a program manager for Dynamics AX. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing how to customize the installation to save you time and money while performing an implementation. With Dynamics AX, it's a software system that is designed to be updated and customized. And typically, those are processes that are performed after the installation and it can actually add in to the, uh, the cost of owning a system. Um, so what we're going to do is actually, instead of applying updates to the system after it's already installed, we're going to incorporate those updates as part of the initial installation. And that's going to be able to save us a lot of time while we're implementing the system. So the first thing that we're going to do is take a tour of the Dynamics AX installation image. So here we have a CD image and in your organization you should have this sitting on a network share somewhere. So here's all the folders that are sitting on the CD image right now. And I'll go ahead and expand this and we'll just talk about each of these briefly. Um, so here's the application folder. It doesn't, this is not something that we would really need to worry about. This is something that is only dealt with um, by the setup program. The auto run contains the auto run resources for the setup launcher. Database upgrade contains the XPOs and scripts for performing database upgrades. The license terms folder here contains the license terms for Microsoft um, owned software in Dynamics AX. The models folder is one that really uh, merits some discussion. Uh, in this folder we have subfolders for all of the models that ship with Dynamics AX. And in this release, the chief way of packaging um, customizations and vertical solutions for Dynamics AX is through these model files. Um, so here you can see we have uh, the standard models. These are the ones that are mandatory. And this contains, uh, for instance, the foundation model sitting in the sys layer. And you can see that for each of the um, uh, industry solutions that we ship, as part of Dynamics AX, like for instance the public sector, there's actually a model corresponding to that. Here's the MSI, which contains the base product MSIs. This is not really something that a partner would have to worry about. The Redist folder contains redistributables. The support folder contains everything that setup uses to run. And the updates folder is the folder we're going to be most concerned about in this particular um, exercise. The updates folder is where we can actually drop updates to Dynamics AX and they will be considered for installation. So now that we've talked about the CD image, let's actually take a look at a customization that I've prepared. My customization is called ISV1. And you can imagine this being a customization that you could actually purchase from an ISV. And you can see inside the ISV folder here that a lot of the folder structures look exactly the same. You can see that just like uh, the original CD structure, we've got a folder for our license terms. And this contains actually a rich text file containing our license terms for this customization. It contains some, some models and this is the model containing all of the custom code for our solution and finally here's an MSI folder and this contains the help content for our solution so if we have for instance a form that's uh, as part of the model file we just looked at the help content for that form can be packaged separately and installed on the help server alright now incorporating this ISV update into our installation is as easy as updating the, as opening the updates folder, copying the ISV solution, and pasting it into the updates. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to run setup, and we're going to choose to install the Dynamics AX components. And the first thing setup's going to do is scan the installation image for any applicable updates. And as you can see, it actually detected that I have this, uh, this solution available from my ISV. And it's going to go ahead and pull in the text from that EULA file. Um, I am not a lawyer, and I don't know how to write a EULA, but uh, this is actually the text that's in that file. 
So we're going to accept this fake EULA and click Next. And Setup's going to check for any updates to itself. And here we're going to choose to add or modify components. The chief components that we're interested in right now are going to be the databases, which is where our solutions are installed, and the help server, which is where our help content's installed. So we'll click Next. And we're going to create some new databases. I'm going to call this one my custom CD demo. And I don't want a baseline database. And now Setup is going to be scanning that CD image once again. And this time, what it's going to do is pull in the information about that model file that I've included as part of my customization. So what I'll do is I'll scroll down to the bottom. And here's actually that model file that we saw earlier. So what I'll do is I will check this to make sure that it gets installed. And I'll click Next. And here we have the help content. Now what I'll do is I will scroll down. And here is my English help content. And as you can see, here is my ISV help content. So I'll check that. And this will ensure that the help content is installed onto the help server. It'll do a final round of prerequisite checking. And finally, you can see that we are ready to install. So that's how easy it is to customize the installation image to ensure that instead of having to spend time to update the system after it's initially installed, we can actually roll those updates into the initial installation and really uh, make it easier to install a Dynamics AX solution. So I hope you learned a lot in this video and have a great time customizing your installation images.